Hi there, this is Navneet and welcome to the 10th video of the playlist AI Zero AI 6 Programming. In this video, we are going to see how to sort the given set of numbers in ascending order, right? So without any delay, let's start. First of all, open your DOS box and just type in mount space d space d colon backslash in 8086 and click enter. Now go to the drive by typing the drive letter colon and enter. Now just type in along with me that is edit ascending ASC and DING ascending dot ASM. See uh, what this command does is if a, a file named ascending dot ASM is already existing in H086, it opens that existing file, otherwise, it creates a brand new file where you can start coding. So for me, a file named ascending.asm is already present in the 8086. So that file will be opened. See, you can see over here. But for you, uh, a new file will be opened where you can code. But one thing, uh, before uh, going directly into program, I just want to give a suggestion that uh, make sure you watch the previous video. That is uh, how to find the greatest number uh, from the given set. Uh, make sure you watch it because I am continuing the lecture from there itself. So I will provide the link in the description. Come to this video after watching that video. Otherwise don't watch this. So make sure you watch this video after watching that. So before uh, directly entering into program, I just want to give an overview and a recap of a previous program. So uh, let me arrange this. Let give us give me a minute. Okay, I think you can see properly. See, in the previous video, uh, we took uh, these numbers as our input. That is, we given to our program. Uh, that is a 71, 50, and 70, 60, which are uh, stored at respective locations. That is, starting from 2000 and to 2003. So, see, what our program does is, when we gave these as input, what our program does, I mean, what our program did. It somehow managed to bring the highest number from these four numbers to the last location, right? So that is what our program did in the previous video. So we gave 71H and 50H and 70H and 60H to our program. So what it does, uh, it uh, brought this uh, highest number that is a 71 from the list and placed in the last place. Now, uh, instead of giving these four numbers, now give only three numbers, okay, 50, 70 and 60. Now, uh, freeze this 71 over here, that is leave about it. Now, 71 is being placed in the last place, now leave about it. Now, take these three numbers, that is 50, 70 and 60. Now, give these three numbers as input to our program. So, uh, we know the logic, right? What our program does, it uh, just uh, simply finds the highest number from these three numbers that is 50, 70 and 60 and will place in the last location, right? So, uh, what is the highest number from this 70, right? So, according to our logic, 70 should be placed in the last location. Okay, it is placed. Now, again, freeze this 70. Now, we'll leave about it. Now, the remaining numbers are 50 and 60. Now, give these two numbers as input to our program. Again, in the same way, what our program will do? It will... Uh, bring the highest number from these two to the last location right so like that it brought the 16 to the last location and the leftover number is 50 see now uh, our uh, set of numbers is sorted in ascending order see 50 60 and 70 and 71 right i think you got it so what i'm go uh, trying to explain is if we somehow execute our program again and again by decreasing the number of comparisons then we will be successful in achieving ascending order see here we are comparing three times that is 71 and 50 50 and 70 and 70 and 60 so by comparing like this we brought 71 to the last location now uh, next uh, we should decrease that uh, number of comparisons to only two not three see because uh, we are taking only three numbers right 50, 70 and 60. Now leave about 71. Now uh, how many comparisons we want? We will compare only 50 and 70. That is one comparison. And 70 and 60. That is the second comparison. That's it. Now uh, leave about 70. 
now again we have to decrease the compar one comparison that is we have only two numbers so we require only one comparison that is 50 and 60 now 60 is brought to the last location now we require zero comparisons because 50 is already placed if 60 is placed we have only two numbers automatically 50 will be placed so somehow if we execute our program again and again by decreasing the number of comparisons then we will be successful in sorting our number list in ascending order but how to decrease that number of comparisons see in our program number of comparisons is uh, depended on this counter register right that is the CL so if we somehow achieve that is able to decrease this CL value after every iteration and uh, uh, execute our program again and again so we will be successful in achieving the ascending order see here in the first iteration 71 is placed in the last location okay now we have to what we have to do we have to decrease one comparison and execute our program so what it will what it will do it will take 70 to the last location now this is the second iteration right now uh, coming to third uh, iteration we have to again decrease the uh, counter value by 1 and 60 will be placed now here count value will be 0 so 50 is already automatically placed so our program ends so like this we will achieve ascending order that is uh, our program will be able to sort the given list in ascending order so this is what the logic we are going to use see here uh, uh, you can see in some more detail so first of all in the uh, think this as a first main iteration it will compare 50 and 71 uh, I think if you watch the last video you will be able to figure out so after the three iterations uh, 71 will be placed in the uh, last location and in the same way uh, once watch this so after the second main iteration uh, two numbers will be placed in the last location that is the uh, highest by highest uh, 70 and 71 so after the third main iterations that is n minus one iterations that where n is the number of numbers in our set uh, our list will be sorted in ascending order so i think uh, you got an idea if you didn't get an idea or any understanding from this do watch the video again or if you have any kind of doubts feel free to contact me so now let us enter into program see if you understand the concept and the logic behind the uh, program uh, there is nothing in writing a program so just understand the logic properly and if you didn't get anywhere uh, any kind of if you have any kind of doubts so feel free to contact me see uh, as as in every program the first three lines will be same that is the first one as a code segment and assume cs code and start we are not using data segment in this video also we'll make sure we'll make it use of in future videos so uh, after starting our program the first thing we will do is uh, to clear the registers we are going to use right so that is what uh, these three lines are doing that is uh, we, let me show from here uh, you can see the golden cursor and this one and this one and this one with these three we are clearing the registers and with this we are just uh, pointing the SI to the thousand H location and with this see uh, this is the totally uh, same as the last video so do watch the last video i will only explain what is the change we have done to the last video see uh, we have come to here so uh, when we compared here if it is uh, false uh, that is uh, this uh, if this jle and l1 become true and it will come to here if not they will exchange and again move and uh, continue and continue so what we have what we want to do we have to decrement the counter value right we have to decrement the counter value and repeat the whole program so here we have our counter value in cl right but we are not directly giving the value to the cl see here we are giving the va value to cl by bl so what we have to do in order to decrement cl if we decrement bl automatically cl will be decremented right so here we are decrementing the bl after every iteration see here after comparing it will come to here that is one iteration has been completed 
so uh, now we have to decrement our counter so we are uh, not giving directly to the counter so we are giving the number by bl to the counter so that's why we are decrementing the bl so that a uh, cl counter value will be decremented so after every iteration we want to do this right so we are decrementing the bl now here we are checking uh, that is j n z l3 that is jump not zero see until how many iterations we want to decrement that bl we want only n minus 1 iterations right so that's why as soon as bl becomes zero we just want to end the program that is int 3 and code end and end start see uh, after n minus 1 iterations our uh, number list will be sorted and uh, what is the use of uh, again so again uh, executing our program right there is no use right so that's why this command that is jnz jump not zero so until uh, that bl is not zero it will execute this program that is from here to here it will uh, execute all this program once as soon as bl becomes zero this condition fails and it comes to here into three and it ends the program so i think uh, you got an idea so uh, if you see one uh, see the code once more and uh, we watch the video once more if you didn't get it or if you didn't understand anything from this video don't worry uh, i'll be there definitely i will help you out if you contact me so uh, that's it guys uh, now let us execute our program so now in order to save your file just click on this save as and uh, give any name as you want but the extension should be dot asm in my case as i already opened a saved file i will just exit from here now in order to execute our code we know that the first command will be masm right so masm and our program name ascending dot asm just click four times enter our program generated zero errors so that we can go to the next command that is link and our program name is ascending dot what is this time obj this time and let me check my spelling a c and u and okay now click four times enter again now in order to debug our program just type in debug and our program name sending dot exe this time now click enter the first thing we will do is uh, after debugging after typing the debugging command we will run our program that is from our zeroth location and click enter see now we ran our program now we have to give our inputs right and the first input we should give is the counter value right so type in space e space and where we are storing our counter value at thousand right so just type in thousand and click enter see in our case as there are four numbers the our counter value will be four so just enter four and click enter if you are taking more numbers just enter the number uh, in place of count value now again we have to now we gave counter value successfully now we have to give our numbers right so for that uh, uh, from where we are giving the numbers as the inputs 2000 right so just uh, type enter 2000 e space 2000 click enter now uh, what is our uh, numbers i think you do remember 71 and just click space and the second number is 50 and click space and then the next number will be 70 and click space and 60 okay now we have entered our numbers as well so just click enter now again you know to run the program just type in g equal to 0 0 0 0 and click enter now we have to see our result right see we have entered a number starting from 2000 uh, at 71 is at 2000 uh, 50 is at 2001 and 70 is at 2002 and uh, 60 is at 2003 so they will be sorted and uh, uh, they will be uh, stored in the same um, locations right so where we will where we can see our output from starting from 2000 to 2003 only right they are just shuffling their positions but they are staying there only right so that's why you know to observe the output we have to type in d space uh, starting from 2000 location comma to where we have four numbers so 2003 at 2071 2150 and 2270 and at 60 will be 2003 
now if i click enter the answer should be sorted sorted out right so click enter see uh 71 50 and 70 60 is this the sorted order actually no oh, something is uh, missing out uh, what is that see actually the thing is uh, we are uh, not getting the output uh, as a uh, required so i just edited the file so let us uh, edit the file and uh, let us see the mistake uh, where the mistake is going oh, oh actually see here uh, we are entering the numbers starting from 7071 uh, but uh, in the actually in the while uh, debugging i entered 2000 okay this is the mistake i have done so sorry for that uh, now let's uh, exit from here and try once more Oh, just of the first command will be mass sum and uh, just click four times enter and the second command will be uh, link right so just click four times enter again the last one in order to debug our file debug the first thing we have to do after debugging is we are running our program right so for that just to click a g equal to and four zeros that is zero 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 and click enter now we have to give our uh, counter value right that is at uh, location 1000 so make sure uh, you uh, remember uh, where you are uh, giving the starting addresses that is uh, where you are giving the counter value and where you are giving the number so do remember that okay now we have four numbers right uh, 71 50 70 and 60 so just enter four if you are taking more numbers just enter that number so in order to give the numbers our starting is uh, 7071 right not uh, 2000 actually previously i entered 2000 so that is my mistake so just click uh, enter and our number is uh, first one will be 71 right and uh, uh, click space bar second one is 50 space bar and the third one is uh, 70 space bar and 60 and click enter so after giving the input so once again we shall run the program for that uh, g equal to 0000, 0, 0, 0 and click enter now we have to verify our result as i said earlier uh, our result will be there only uh, in there but their positions are shuffled that's it so just uh, 70 is 071 comma uh, where it will be 7075 will be the ending location of our output right so uh, in order to see my d space starting address of the output comma ending address of the output uh, see we are entering numbers uh, starting from 7071 that is uh, 7071 is 71 and 7072 is 50 7073 is 70 and 7074 is 60 right that's it 7071 71 72 50 73 70 and 74 is 60 so 7071 comma 7074 is the ending address not 7075 so click enter you now you can see uh, it is in the sorted order right 50 60 and 70 71 uh, we will get error sometimes uh, guys uh, don't worry and uh, don't get panic over there just uh, once edit your program and see what is the mistake and you can figure out uh, i think you can figure out so in order to exit uh, from here just type in q and click enter if you just want to get out of uh, dos box as well just then just uh, type in exit and as soon as you click enter this command prompt will be closed so that's it for this video guys uh, uh, we successfully sorted the given set of numbers in ascending order in the next video we will see how to sort uh, the given set of numbers in descending order so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you find at least some value from here that is from this video and if you got at least some concept do share with your friends and do subscribe for further updates Thanks for watching.